Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can insert symbols using the keyboard. So on the screen, I've got four examples and the keyboard command that you need to do. So for example, the first one is the degree sign. And if I type, for example, 23 and I want a degree, the keyboard command to get the degree sign from insert symbol is hold the Alt key down and then 0176 and when you let go it'll put the degree sign for you and then if I do the micron which is this one alt key 0181 so I'll go 2 and then alt 0181 and that'll put the micron sign and then this is a percent sign so it's going to be alt 037 puts the percent sign and then if you want this quarter symbol, that would be Alt-0188. And it puts the quarter symbol in for you. So that's the Alt key and the number pad that you need to use. You can't use the numbers across the top of the keyboard. You have to use the number pad to get these. These have been around a long, long time. These are ASCII keys. If I go into Insert Symbol, you can see where they sit. I'll do the trademark one. Trademark one is 212. So if I insert that, you get to trademark. But if I want to do um, the code, I would have to go 0212. I'll close that down. So it's going to be Alt 0212, and I get the trademark coming in. Now, these are standard ones. If I go back to insert symbol, um, there's a degree sign, so that's that 176. Now it says 176, but you actually have to put a zero in front of it. There's the, um, that's not the actual micron sign. It was on here, now it's disappeared out of my list, but it was, uh, micron is this one, so alt 0181. So you basically search for it in the normal text, or if it's not in the normal text, you'll have to find it. There is... Does that say micron sign? Yes, it does. So that's the uh, 181. And if I just insert that, you can see it coming in there like that. And there was the quarter. Quarter code is 188, so 0188. So when I clicked onto it and they recently used, it didn't initially come up with that number. It came up with 32, which is just the default. So when you select it, once you find out what it is, not from recently used symbols, but from these symbols. So that's one half. So that's one zero one eight nine. That would be. So if I close this down for a minute and just go Alt zero one eight nine, that puts a half symbol in there for me. So it's just a quick way to get things out of this symbol box into your spreadsheet. The other feature you've got is if I type twenty three R D. Now the RD in Word would come up as like a third, 23rd, but in, in Excel it doesn't. Even though when you pull it down it does recognise it as a date, so it is coming up with the relevant things. But if you wanted that to be superscript, you'd have to do this. If I just highlight those two, go back to home. In the font block or font group, if I drop this little arrow down, you've got there superscript, you can select that, OK. So now that's how it should look. And then if you pull that down, all the rest pick up the same format. Now, if I do a chemical formula H2SO4, which is sulfuric acid, the two and the four would be what's called subscript. Subscript. So you highlight the two, you go into that little font group, and you pick in subscript, which is down and the same with the four and subscript brings it down like so so there you go you've got subscript and superscript and then that's picking it up but this is more useful i think if you know that key command and i've done lots of training for companies that use microns and they all know the alt key command for the micron units and most people that use degrees know that as well so hopefully this little video has been of use, opened your eyes to a little feature that's available on the keyboard. 
remember it has to be a full keyboard and it's the number pad on the right hand side that you need to use not the numbers across the top but that's all i want to talk about in this little video thank you for your time and i'll catch you in the next one